Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta of the Search Authority, and we are doing an updated video on a great tool called Amazing Hiring. Amazing Hiring is a fantastic tool. It has a Chrome extension, works in a lot of places, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, GitHub, a bunch of places, provides you contact info, social info, and everything. But it also has a sourcing capability, a really good sourcing capability, and multiple different kinds. We're going to start with what we already know. Basically a simple search. You just put in your skill, put in a country, add conditions, t exclude conditions, see it says add here, uh, exclude here, and then you do your search. It even has some tips here, a whole bunch of stuff. Great. Save queries. This is where you could save any query you do and make. Um, I clean my system up. Don't save a lot of queries, and mainly it's because I show it a lot, so i got to show it, you know, the whole thing. And then history. Uh, history just lets you know everything you've done. As you can see, I have done not that long ago some stuff but now now it has what an AI sourcing capability now keep in mind what we call AI isn't really AI uh, if you want what AI really is find Star Trek next generation look for data that's an AI but for what we call AI you know it is what it is, machine learning on steroids. But we're going to find some stuff. So let's see. Let's go for a full stack engineer. Uh, let's pick the USA. I'm good with that. And let's just leave it there. Simple, full stack engineer, USA. And it's a perfect time to try our new folders. And we do have folders. We haven't gotten there yet. And look what we get. We get um, quite a few people, 9,110 people. Um, this is going to take me through a little thing saying, hey, it's to start the tour, let's select the candidates, so tick a box, hide these tips, don't worry about it. So let's see, first one, Alex Tolala, Washington uh, Metropolitan Area US, .net, at Willis, blah, 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 .net, web development. They have an email form and all these social profiles. Isn't that cool? Now, of course, what do you think we do with them? Well, we push a button. And we add them to a folder, an existing folder, or whatever. So we're going to, or wherever we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and add them to whatever. Uh, new folder. Let's just go ahead and, if I remember how, because it's been a while since I've done this. Let's just add them to test. We've now added them to test plus one. See, good to go. So over here, you have a whole bunch of stuff you can view. You can do high profiles that you've already viewed in the 30 days, profiles with multiple locations, profiles with comments without comments excuse me profiles selected to folders user experience using the current company whether or not they do or do not have contact info languages this is a beta so you get to find out if they you know what languages do they speak uh social profile and cvs you get to sit there this what i like about this is this you notice linkedin's there github angelist google plus and a whole bunch of other places I can actually legitimately press everything except for LinkedIn, and I won't see LinkedIn profiles, which is really cool for those of us that are really tired of LinkedIn. Then you got seniority, diversity, company, education, and this. Really cool, really simple, really easy. Now, of course, you've got folders, so we're going to go into folders. And uh, we're not going to get into this. We're going to look at one of them. We got the third, which is the guy we asked for, so this is all pretty. Everything looks good to go. Now, of course, you can check all the boxes and you can export. And of course, that means you'll get all this data. Uh, you can move or copy them, you can remove them. You notice down here, this young Jedi not only has a, two emails, but has a phone number. Now that's got, I don't know y'all, but that gets me curious. So we're gonna push a button. We're gonna come down here and see what we got. Let's see, we got a phone number, which came from who is. Uh, that means he owns his own domain, and that's where he got it from. We've got a noel.com, which is from GitHub, and we have a Gmail, which is from Google Play. Wow, Google Play. Interesting. But, hey, personal email, probably a work email. Maybe not. I don't see where he worked, Noel. And a phone number. There you go. Let's put what this one here shows. This way, a Gmail, but we haven't gotten it. We haven't asked for it yet. Why the candidate uh, please refer to our original source of contact? So, GitHub. Um... That means basically what that means is we need to open the public place and look and see. There may be a reason for it. It might be a private profile or something like that. And then down here, we got three emails now. Really? Three emails? Let's go down here. A Bitbucket, a GitHub, and a whatever. And we got at least one for a fact that's personal. That might be personal. Could be a company. That one passed. That's probably a personal. And, of course, you can copy and all that good stuff. Uh, you can mark sourced. You can mark interested. You can do all sorts of stuff. So this can also act like a mini uh, CRM of sorts. 
uh, which is really cool. You got applications, employees, and extensions. So let's start with applications. So this is where you can connect different applications, whether it's Smart Recruiter, Mix, Max, Greenhouse. Uh, employees this is where you can add people that can work with you in this, which we're not going to mess with right now. Um, you can do actual things that will get you uh, company administrators, employees, just all sorts of neat stuff. Get out of that and get back to the thing. And then we got the extension. This is where you get the extension, which is right here, which I've already got, which works in a lot of places and gives you so much information. And as you can see, they updated pretty darn good. So I'm, you know, Amazing Hiring is one of my tools. When it comes to looking at for people who are outside the U.S. and Canada, uh, this is one of my tools, one of my primaries. When it comes to looking for contact information, stuff like that, this again. It's one of my primaries. It's on all the time. I work with it. And uh, within the U.S. and Canada, to be honest with you, I have done some work in it, as you saw, and I really like it. And uh, it is it is one of my go-to tools for sourcing within the U.S. and Canada as well. I break it up. I break it up my tools between U.S. and Canada and non-U.S. and Canada, basically outside, because some tools only work in U.S. and Canada. Some tools don't do a good job in U.S. Canada, but do a great job outside. So I, I always break them down. This is one of the tools that can go both that that can go both inside and outside, as I just showed you. And they find contact information and so much goodness. Yeah, I really love this tool. And anyway, so this is um, amazing hiring, the new and improved with the AI sourcing, and I'm Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority.